All right, this is this was the latest episode of the Coma Power Organic Fitness Podcast. I'm just literally on here now to say thanks so much for everyone who's after getting their hands on the likes of the latest book. It's not just the latest book, it's not just the greatest book. It is officially an Amazon number one bestseller. And I couldn't have done it straight up without everybody. We've got either the Kindle version, got the physical hard book copy. And I'm just literally here to say thank you so much and supposed to fill people in on the things that are coming up very, very soon. So the point of which is <laughs> I am absolutely over the moon. It's such what an honor. I'm delighted to I suppose be an Amazon one bestseller, but that didn't happen by chance. I'm gonna tell you for those people that know me, I mean, I suppose. When I first started out, I actually had about 300 followers. And one of those was my mom. And I ended up actually asking, I was like, man, will you end up actually just liking as much stuff as you possibly could on the uh, Instagram and the Facebook page? And she wasn't really on Instagram at all. And she kind of got sick of that after a week. And so I actually then had to get some real followers and start putting out some decent content that was, and that was consistent with. And I suppose ever since then, it's, uh, <laughs> It's got to from where it was to where it is. And it was a massive, I suppose, a goal to set out on a piece of paper, which people that I train and mentor and coach will certainly do know all about that. Having a goal, having a vision, and aiming, I suppose, for the likes of the stars or even the moon. And even if you miss, you end up in the stars. And that's one of the quotes that's in the likes of this book. It's an Amazon or own bestseller. Could you jot that down? There's about 10 years of information in that. Starting off with the likes of understanding foods. Then we go on to the likes of breaking it down, proteins, fats, and carbs. You've gut health. I love all things gut health. Why? Because the food you eat have a massive effect on the way you look, you feel, and how much energy you have. Then we go on to the likes of fiber and how I suppose the likes of it being so important for your overall health your immune system 70 percent of it is located there fiber fills you up where is fiber found in all different fruits and vegetables please eat fruit don't really listen to the jackasses who say fruit makes you fat <sighs> deep breaths breathe so that's very important then the likes of the difference in organic and conventional organic food is grown with the likes of harsh chemicals and they go into depth about that the clean 15 and dirty dozen and the organic fitness foods that i highly recommend you to add to your diet you grow your own or buy it, whatever you do, add it to your diet, to your plate. Colors, antioxidants, so good for, I suppose, your overall health. My favorite color, if I had it to pick, would definitely be purple because it's the anthocyanins, which actually can improve your cognitive function. I've definitely done that, I've definitely improved because um, being dyslexic and was being a major individual who struggled through secondary school, through college, and every other activity that wasn't sports or movement based, even piano, you're gonna fill people in now, God. Um, so when I was learning piano in school, um, no, was it school? Yeah, it was in school. Uh, my father got me lessons and I obviously found out dyslex dyslexic and instead of left or right, it doesn't really matter for that part, that um, you learn much better by an activity. So they're like, oh, come on, it'd be great at music. So we got, we got on piano lessons. So this is um, Mrs. Nugent, if you're listening, um, thanks for all your help. So Mrs. Nugent used to come over and uh, <laughs> she used to teach me for like an hour, flat out, how to uh, play different <laughs> tunes on the piano. And then my parents being psychiatric nurses at the time, and uh, they end up once a month having a day, but they're both on at the same time. So they're both on, uh, work shift, 12 hours, and that means that I had to leave Mrs. Nugent in. So being the extremely diligent student that I was, I ended up uh, locking the door and uh, just absolutely pegging it up the field. So I ran as far as I possibly could up the field and just, I suppose, hid behind the ditch to see enough of view of the house so I could see Mrs. Nugent drive up, come to the door, knock on the, the, the window at the back door, walk all around <laughs> the driveway back, back home. So I ran back down, went into the house, 
uh, opened up uh, the front door and uh, just went, sat down and kind of goes, all right, well, that was that's my job done. Just never really thought there were occurrences and then ended up saying the fact that uh, when my parents came home, how did the piano lessons go? Good. And then next week came around and Miss Nugent asked when Mam opened the door, says, uh, oh, where were you last week? And then Mam says, oh, we were working. But uh, you you came and did the lesson with Coleman, didn't you? She said, no, there was no one here. <laughs> I mean, turn around and go. I don't know who's here, Mam. I don't know what happened. I couldn't say, I couldn't say around. So I would have pretty much done anything to go to piano lessons. And um, <laughs> where did that spawn from? The fact that uh, people learn differently, differently than others. And if you don't enjoy something, you sure as I won't do it long term. And thanks to the Newton for all your help. I didn't continue on like the piano, but I sure as hell am able to play an odd piece. Boy, I have that uh, visual uh, learning aspect that I know where the keys are and I know the notes that I should hit. I actually couldn't read the music. It's something that's, I suppose, maybe someone else could diagnose for me. Actually, hold on now. I actually have been in contact with um, a dyslexia group that uh, will be on their podcast, I suppose, very shortly. So stay tuned for that. And that, I suppose, is a real in-depth story in relation to my, my <laughs> the previous past of learning piano and not continuing it. Because you don't continue things you don't like long-term. And that's what I recommend about this whole idea of this book. It's a lovely round way of getting back to a lifestyle. It's not a particular diet. It's not that you should take out carbs. Because I'm training a couple of people now on the organic fitness program that have had previous personal trainers and have most certainly been told to reduce carbs, no carbs. And what ends up happening there is it ends up being unsustainable uh, and lends to binge eating, which is a major support thing that I don't want people to be doing at any stage because the point of which is carbs are the body's first source of energy. And yeah, if you're not eating carbs, you're in trouble. <laughs> you can do ketosis and there are benefits to it, but I recommend carbs in certain amounts why, and in certain particular areas of your day for insulin sensitive times. As you're first thing in the morning, and remember the carbohydrates that come from vegetables. So if anybody who actually reduces down carbohydrates completely, you're restricting certain types of fruits, definitely, and vegetables as well, such as a high fiber inulin based ones, it's really good for your gut health, which is the onions, garlic, leek, Jerusalem after choke, which I do love too. So just to fill you in quickly on a couple of things that are happening in the near future, there are grow your own courses and or a possibility for either a company. If you would like your company to have a visit from myself, uh, get in contact and I can most certainly be email or any of the social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, that I can get myself in front of your company during lunch, either through Zoom and or the likes of a site visit. That's what I'm currently doing now, doing one with actually Keelings as of tomorrow. So yeah, it's a big one. But for any company, it doesn't have to be, I suppose, a, a large company, it can be medium or small. And the next thing that's happening is that the next uh, Grow Your Own course, if you would like to do that, based in Kildare at Featherfield Farm, if you're looking to, I suppose, improve your knowledge on being more sustainable, eating the best food you possibly can, and meet me in person, I would love to see you there. Next thing is their next organic fitness retreat is on the 26th of August, okay, 26th of August, and it's in Adam Creek. It's going to be a very special one. It's a beautiful, uh, idyllic location, uh, all accommodation, food inclusive. And if you are looking to go to that, there is, I suppose, a couple of spaces left because this place is somewhere we haven't been before. And it is something that's very special because of firstly the location and the views that are on uh, the site of Annam Cree in County Mayo. So we're looking to go to that, get on it on Eventbrite, and it's also on the Facebook, sorry, the Facebook and the Instagram page. You can book it through there, or again, just send me through social media, and I'll send you the link for that directly. So in and on after that, I'm going to say thanks so much. And if you haven't got your hands on this so far, it's also still available on Amazon. Being the number one Amazon. That was a dream, and dreams do come true. So grateful for anybody buying the book. Thanks so much. I hold it here in my hands, and this is actually this one right here. This one where I jumped into it. I signed it here, so I have it signed on the twenty eighth of June. It's the it's the only copy that will be and have that signature on it. NFT, but uh, that's it. It's the copy there. 
even at the muck max. I took it out because I came out after doing a flip. I tried to pick up the book. It's all, it's all boggy turf. <laughs> Smudged. But uh, it just makes it as opposed to original. The only one in the world. But uh, yeah. All right. Finish up this podcast like I do every other. Stay tuned. Stay classy. And keep it organic. And get on that good stuff. Yes. Get in. I'm sorry. Not too many boys have that. Winning.